God. God! Mackenzie's trying to interview Roxanne about her win. Before Roxanne can say anything, Cora Jade runs in to interrupt the interview, make it all about her, and congratulate Roxanne on the win. So Mackenzie says, all right, you're here. She has a question for Cora. But then Cora, who just interrupted this promo, says, tonight is not about me. It's about Roxanne. You idiot! These are badly written segments. Cora Jade, the character, as portrayed on the show, is an idiot. Then Electra Lopez shows up. I always want to call her Carmen Electra. That's not her name. Electra Lopez it's Definitely shows not up. Carmen Electra. No. Uh, she has a match with Alba Fire. Elbow Fire. Elbow Fire. And yeah. she, she buries the two of them and walks away. And Cora Jade, the idiot, says, what is your problem? <laughs> Do, who writes this? Do they have? Oh, they, they have writers, have writers. writers. Thousands of them. Yeah, they got writers. Because, well, yeah, I know they have writers. I mean, I, I so I'm the writer. That's my job. I write TV shows. Um, and I, for a very short period of time, a few years ago, did want to work for WWE, and I did have a meeting with someone who worked there, and they told me to like run away very fast and not do it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that was just the general gist of it. Um, it is bizarre to me that anyone would write these scripts and all I can think is that they're just getting overwritten because there is no way there is no way a professional screenwriter is writing this stuff there's just no way well the other issue I'm, I'm sure you're well aware is that there's a there's a very specific uh, like list of words that you can and cannot mm -hmm. say so really I mean you could be the best fucking writer you could have Shakespeare fucking write for WWE, but he'd have a list of, of uh, antiquated terms he could no longer use, and a bunch of stupid shit that he would have to put into these promos, and they would all end up sucking. I mean, it's just that nothing is natural about it. I mean, you would know. Every character has to have a different voice, right? Yes. That's the idea. Absolutely. That would be nice. Well, yeah. here, every fucking character has the exact same voice. They all say That's the exact true. same shit, the same words. They're not allowed to all say this. It, it's... Uh, it sucks. I mean, it's, you know, it's common on any show. You have a list of words you can't say or a list of things you can't do. And, you know, I, I worked on a soap in the UK for years and there was lots of things we weren't allowed to say. There was phrases that were banned and things you couldn't do. But the, it, it, you can still sound natural with that. This this is not coming. I refuse to believe that anybody who is a writer, especially Writers Guild of America writer, is writing this. I think this well, is either being taken and overwritten or something is going on here. Well, yes, but but your your comparison, I mean, if you were writing a show in the UK about a fucking sewing club, for example, you know, one of the words on your ban list wouldn't be thread. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a fucking wrestling show. You can't say belt. You can't say wrestler. You can't say wrestle. You can't say uh, match. match. You can't say tight like there's all of these fucking words that are words that are wrestling words that you're not allowed to say on a fucking wrestling show. So it's much worse than like uh, I've asked. I've I've gotten so mad sometimes. I ask like who's responsible for this. I don't get answers. Nobody I mean, wants I get to frustrated because I do see a lot of people complaining about the writers and going, "Oh, these writers are shit." It's the writers. It's the writers. And sometimes I feel like I want to stand up for writers and go. No, no, it's it's not. I, I refuse to believe that it's the writers. Like you say, if this list of banned words, how do you talk about wrestling without talking about wrestling? I mean, you know, it's, it's, yeah. I refuse to believe there are actual trained, skilled screenwriters behind this. I don't think so. And Vinny has driven all the way here, and his camera's now working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. All Riveting. right, yep, we go that way. Uh, nope, wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh, the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, hey, there he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.